Well, Jay, congratulations on being named the 2021 Coaches Award winner. For yourself personally, mate, uh, how do you reflect on your season? Um, it's definitely one to look back on and uh, learn a lot from. Uh, we haven't won many games, but I try to take a positive out of um, many negative situations this year just to keep improving each week. And that's a credit to the coaches being there for me and uh, giving me the tools to help me get better each week and improve on my mistakes from the week before. Yeah, your second year um, as a first grade player, mate, I suppose what were some of the challenges and what do you take away from this year? Yeah, just um, playing consistent footy week in, uh, week after week. Uh, last year, I sort of played a handful of games here, had a couple of weeks off and then got back and played a, uh, another handful of games. So I played the majority of games this year and it's just about um, putting in a seven or eight, but, uh, like rating out of 10 uh, performance each week rather, uh, rather than a 10 one week and then maybe a three or four the next week. So it's just about uh, consistency and um, getting the body right to go week in, week out. Yeah, for yourself, mate, what do you take away from the season, you know, that you want to focus on, you know, leading into a 2022 campaign? Um, personally, I just wanted to be confident, um, make sure I'm running the ball. Um, I feel like when I'm running the ball, everything just comes off the back of that. So if I just be confident and get my running game going, especially early in the game, uh, everything will just flow off that. And for yourself, mate, no doubt, obviously, a chance over the off-season to rest and recharge, but... Um, you've obviously no doubt got your sights on what looks forward to an exciting 2022. Yeah, 2022 is looking pretty exciting. Uh, we've got a great calibre of players coming to the club, so I'm sure they'll uh, be a very exciting year next year for the fans, and I'm super pumped to get into it.